Hello, I'm back. <laughs> um, this is part B to the video I did yesterday. Uh, but there's a lesson to be learned about never saying never there, right? <laughs> Apparently this was not my last video, I'm doing another. Um, yes, I was inspired to do this video um, because I feel like um, it's this is actually not information that was easy for me to find. This was something that I really had to um, learn and I, I did, I was able to access you know tools and skills in this area but through um actually through the spiritualist church and they're closed now um because of the pandemic situation and everything so yes this video is going to be about how to recognize your own intuition and um not as in i'm not going to tell you what to do but i'm just going to talk about how I learned to recognize my intuition because I do think it's probably slightly different for everybody. Um, but yeah, let's go. <laughs> so for me, learning to um, be able to really trust my intuition is was a process because I had gone against it for so long. Um, I used to have this, these strong feelings like, oh, you probably shouldn't do that or maybe you shouldn't hang out with this guy or I would get an instinct um, for example, like one guy that I met, um, he introduced me to his business partner and my instant reaction after she left was, is that your girlfriend? He says, no, 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 people always say that. You know, it's just because we have such a close bond because we work together. Every inch of my body was like, he's lying. But I fancied him, you know, and I thought, maybe he's telling the truth and it's just me being irrational and being jealous or um, whatever. Long story short, I was absolutely spot on and had I just listened to that first intuition, there would have been a lot of heartache spared on my part and on the part of his business partner, hash girlfriend. <laughs> um, and yeah, that was kind of like the lesson of my life really, like just totally feeling strong intuition and then ignoring it. But really because I didn't recognise it as intuition, I kind of thought maybe it was me. Yeah, I, I just didn't trust myself in that way. So I really had to experiment for a long time with um, what my intuition was. And I would get confused because I would get different forms of intuition. And for me, a lot of the information that you find online about intuition um, comes in the form of inspiration which is one of the ways we or i was guided intuitively is inspiration so out of nowhere i would just get an idea in my head or i would just have a thought that i that was not related to a trailer thought i was having or it wasn't you know a normal kind of thought process i would have it would be something out of nowhere and then and that's what i would call inspiration and it would um and often if I ignored it, it would just keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back, you know. Um, so for me, that's one of the aspects of intuition is inspiration. And that to me comes through the mind. And um, yeah, it can be in, come through with lots of different ideas and things. And I would follow them um, or not. <laughs> the consequences of following it or not would then teach me what that inspiration felt like um well not felt like sorry what what it was because it comes in a different it's different to your normal thought process it comes in a different part of your brain or for me it did anyway that's all i can say it wasn't my thought it was as if the thought had been put there and i recognized it um so that one that is for me what i call inspiration and if i and i was inspired to do this video um after i did the last video they're like sleeping on it last night just continually thought my head some people don't know how to follow their intuition some people don't know what intuition is some people don't know how to oh, and i tried to ignore it but it did not go away it just kept coming up so i thought right i'll do the video so i'm doing the video <laughs> now the inspiration will go away um, the next one is attraction. Just that, I think we have that as kids, you know, when suddenly you're like, oh, that looks really good, or oh, look at that. Um, 
and, and it's a pull. It's like a, it's a pull that you really want to craving that kind of comes into that for me. Suddenly you get like an idea for something that you really want, like oh I really fancy this kind of food or oh that person looks really interesting. It's a really really strong attraction, or it was for me anyway, um, towards something, um, and that one again it was something I had to really learn um, the difference between. I was gonna say a craving, uh, an addiction. <laughs> That's what I want to mean. That's what I mean. The difference between an addiction and an attraction. I really had to learn that one because obviously sometimes um, our habitual habits we feel like we're maybe attracted to them, but actually it is just an addiction. So for me personally, I had to overcome quite a few addictions, um, and that really helped me to understand this power of attraction. Um, and to be able to allow myself to actually like follow that pull and that draw towards the things that I did want or need or um, or that would help me further on my path and sometimes they're obviously combined um, you might be inspired and then attracted to something or you might be attracted to something and then have some inspiration um, they're all interchangeable these things I'm talking about for me anyway and then the last part of intuition is resonance. Um, and you do hear about this a lot. I find, I, <laughs> I use, if I hear the word what resonates or how does this resonate for you, I kind of understand that the person who um, is saying that probably also understands vibration and energy and um, harmony within your body. So they're... <sighs> Um, da, 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 da. so for me I trust that they are not trying to manipulate me because they'll generally say something like well how does that feel for you or how does it resonate um, and what resonance is for me it's literally feeling the vibration through your body how does it feel does it feel good does it feel bad um, you know is it does it make this align nice flow in you or do you start you know panicking and worrying and again this is like a practice thing because um obviously strong emotions kind of pull you in different directions or can sometimes like ah for example i think like excitement and nervousness are pretty much the same thing um it's just the spin that we put on it so again all these things once you understand inspiration and when you understand the difference, you know, your attraction, you can then kind of really feel the resonance of it. How does it feel? Does it feel good or does it not feel good? Um, and I did lots of experiments to kind of try and learn this, these skills, um, literal real life experiments, because I really had to learn how to trust myself and my own intuition and I'm now 100% just use that like in my entire life. Like if it doesn't feel right, I don't do it. I act when I'm inspired to act. That was Bay's tale. Um, you know, I, I eat what I'm attracted to eat and I am constantly in tune with this resonance and if something doesn't feel in alignment for me, it's, I just know that it's probably a message that's not right for me. So one of the things that I did do was really interesting, well I found it interesting, was um, I actually had a whole period where I was a bit annoyed with the process because I was maybe being inspired and then um, something negative would happen and um, what I understood that to be for me is a learning lesson. I might be inspired to do something and it maybe wouldn't work out the way I wanted it to or expected it to. Um, and then I would be a bit frustrated, but actually now when I look back, I learned a lot from those failures or those negative <laughs> situations because I was paying attention to them. And they, again, really helped me to discern for myself which inspirations to follow and which were not. But one of the things that I did do, which was a really good exercise at one point when I was really like tired and, you know, exhausted with the process, I was like, I'm going to do nothing. I'm literally just going to rest and all I'm going to do is what I can not not do. So instead of following inspiration or attraction or whatever, just as soon as it happened, I would ignore it. 
and I would literally do nothing until it got to the point where I couldn't not do it like I had to do it like I was moved to do stuff and then I would notice how I felt in that and um and that really for me did help clarify these three three kind of aspects of inspiration um, intuition sorry which was I would be inspired to do something I would be attracted towards something and it would feel right for me um, and I then used that once I had that skill um, to guide my healing path and you know whenever I was looking for a solution I would like pose a question to myself and then you know I might be inspired to go online and then I would be attracted towards a certain video on YouTube and when I watched it it felt good you know this is the kind of way I started to really use my journey um, and like I say I use it all the time now it literally is like the guide of my life like this morning I woke up and um, you know I was I was feeling a little bit I'd, I'd had a it took me a while to settle because of this inspiration all night to, that I didn't quite get the video yesterday right um, but yeah when I woke up I, when I did get dressed the I literally got dressed and everything was about to leave the house and I just thought I don't feel right in these clothes and I literally just I was about to ignore it and I was like what are you on about <laughs> like you know this so yeah I had a word myself came upstairs changed my clothes and felt better I'd chosen the wrong clothes because I wasn't really um, choosing what I was attracted to. I was just choosing what was easy. Um, so that's just a little little example. Um, and for me, it keeps me in my alignment now. I totally trust my intuition and I follow it whatever the end because actually the consequences of not following it for me personally were, um, yeah, didn't, didn't enjoy the consequences of not following my intuition so I did think I would just share that information because I don't think I've ever found anything about that online on my journey it's something literally I had to learn myself like I say it's probably something that's different for everybody I guess but um, what I'm suggesting is that you know you'll have to find your own <laughs> intuition but hopefully this will be a starting point and you've got a bit of an idea of you know what it is uh, what intuition means and how you can use it to benefit yourself and on your healing journey i hope this has been helpful thank you for watching the video and um if you like it like it and you can subscribe if you want to my channel and share it if you think it might help a friend or whatever thank you all the best bye bye